Stanford University. Well, we named the car Shelley after Michelle Mouton, who is the first woman to win the Pikes Peak hill climb, of course, in an Audi. I'd like to introduce you to Shelley, our autonomous Audi TTS. Going to the Salt Flats was definitely the highlight of, of my summer, and I think the highlight of the summer for the, for the team. It was a great opportunity to get everybody together and to try. We hadn't actually been running the algorithms on the car very long when we went to the Salt Flats. So we were running a, a variety of tests, largely to see can we track curves at the very limit of what the car is capable of. We drove it uh, autonomously at about 130 miles an hour. We can push the car up to the limit of what it is capable of. So we're able to use our controller to go around a curve really as fast as is physically possible for the car to do. So for instance, when we were out on the, on the salt flats and etching the, the Audi ring. So the car has a map of what it would like to achieve and it knows its initial position. So we simply command it to start. It accelerates up to the speed that it's supposed to have, executes the, the rings, and then slows down and comes to a stop. And this is the trunk where we've stored most of the hardware need, needed to convert the car. We have a, a stack of computers and data acquisition equipment and this is really where we're running all the algorithms. So everything that we're doing to make the car race, drift, uh, is being calculated right here in this box. We are using GPS as a way of mapping out the car's position. So we've set this up as really a vehicle dynamics challenge. Uh, Pikes Peak is, is really highly variable because they put down different layers of gravel on part of it, part of it's paved. Uh, and so there's a lot of uncertainty about what the tires can do and what the car is capable of at any point in the track. This is really the, the strong interest of our lab. We're really a vehicle dynamics and controls lab, so our expertise is, is very much in the area of how do cars handle. And we're trying to see most accidents occur really at the handling limit. So we think that we can control the car very comfortably out in these limits. What we want to do is to get up Pikes Peak safely. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.